Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. It's about dinner time, and uh, what we're doing is we're going to be deploying traps to make mosquito collections uh, through the evening until tomorrow morning when we recover the traps and we're going to use those collections to analyze them for the presence of West Nile virus and Eastern equine encephalitis virus. West Nile appears more in residential areas because the mosquito that is involved in that cycle is a container breeder. So there are more containers in residential areas. And these containers can be wheelbarrows, uh, pools that aren't kept clean, bird baths, um, as well as catch basins, sumps. They're really found around the human activity. Eastern, that is found, it begins in red maple swamps. So it's usually more in rural areas. So this is our undisclosed location? Correct. So what we do is we try to find locations where we can um, put traps out and, and reduce the risk of them uh, being tampered with. For West Nile virus, we generally have two traps. So we trick them by putting in a bucket of water that they come in thinking they're gonna lay the eggs and when they lay the eggs, get, they get sucked up into a trap. The other one is a CDC light trap and we, the bait that we use for that is CO2 and uh, mosquitoes sense CO2, and that's when you're in your yard and you're exhaling. That CO2 creates a plume, the, the mosquitoes sense it, and they actually follow that plume through the air, and that's how they find you. Off to the next site. This is uh, our second stop, and essentially is uh, the same drill? It's the same drill. You know, it's, we have a, a, a gravid bucket uh, here, so we're gonna put this on the uh, on the gravid bucket. Sometimes they get their own little uh, uh, aviances when it comes to. Uh, you can smell oh, that it, right? It's special. Ah. <laughs> yeah, some of them are stronger than, than others. Oh wow! Now you say you you meant to do that? Yes. Yep. That's that's intentional. You you want it to uh, to smell. The smellier, the better. Oh my God! Yeah, it's 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 pretty potent stuff. And now we're gonna put a uh, light trap in to just to see what the general population is doing here. We actually label them. And so people know what it is because um, in today's age, when you see something uh, attached with wires that has a light and makes a noise, people get concerned. And uh, there have been instances, not here, but in other parts of the country where police have been called because they see this in the woods and they think it's a bomb or some sort of, uh, uh, you know, something that shouldn't be there. On to the third site. This location is a, uh, a red maple swamp. So basically the mosquito that we're after reproduces in, underneath the uh, tree roots of the red maples. It's a lot different from the other two sites that we're at. So we don't use a gravid bucket here. This is the water, the type of environment where they reproduce. There's a small space in here. We'll see if we can find any. There's one right there. You see it? Yeah, it's a little larva. Yep, that's a larva. All you need is that little bit of water. It's only about two inches deep and not a very large area. And you'll have uh, uh, Culacita breeding in, these, uh, in this area. We are at the, uh, the uh, fourth and final for this trip. And uh, again, it's a, a red maple swamp, so we'll only be putting out a, a CDC light trap. So we're all done. So we put out uh, six traps at four sites. And so we'll collect them tomorrow morning, bright and early, and uh, see what we catch. Looks like we did pretty well last night. That's a good catch. <laughs> it was worth the effort. So you can see uh, the mosquitoes on the uh, container here. Uh, it's not as heavily caught, so um, it looks like we caught more in the uh, gravid trap. So these containers we can put 
in a, in a cooler or over ice. And when, by the time we get back to the lab, these guys or gals will have uh, been in the CO2 environment and they'll actually be sedated. All right, second site. The leaves are wet, so we did get a little bit of rain, but uh, it doesn't appear to affect the catch a little bit. There's still uh, plenty of mosquitoes uh, in this uh, trap. We're happy with the Culex catch, and then we'll see what else is flying around. But um, the, the next two will definitely have more in the light trap. This is the third spot, and this is where we were uh, bitten up uh, last night. So uh, I suspect that there'll be uh, quite a bit of mosquitoes in this CDC light trap. As you can see, there's plenty of mosquitoes in this trap. Um, they're all on the wall. There's going to be more in the in the container. Still a pretty healthy catch. Doesn't appear to be as heavy as the last one, but uh, we still uh, seem to have gotten uh, plenty to to look through. We've collected all six traps at the four sites. We'll take it back to the lab and we'll go through it and we'll see what we got. <laughs> 